Viewing this piece brings what documentary should do, meaning you encounter particular people in a very specific situation which has nothing to do with your daily life, but they are raising questions, issues um, about what is living in a society, what is work, what is uh, the boundary between uh, um, um, social life, private life, work life, family life, with which anyone can relate to. The interesting specificity of the Internet Café Refugees is that it allows you to visit this issue in a very human way, um, where we are able to meet these two, two characters. They tell us about a moment in their life that we are unable to actually see, meeting them where they live, which is these really incredibly tiny cubicles in these internet cafes. I've never seen such an internet cafe uh, in France. None of them are like that. They're generally like open spaces, so there's at least a collective dimension of uh, enjoying surfing on the web or a social collective dimension that exists there. I mean, it's not called cafe by chance. And the place we meet in the film has nothing to do with that. It's um, a series of cubicles. So in a way, it's even uh, strengthening the isolation, solitude, these people are talking about, the way they, they're, what they deal with at work is pushing them to the limit of, uh, um, to the outskirts and the limit of society and of their ability to connect with who's around them. And visually, uh, you get a strong sense of um, uh, how they're stuck in a corner of life by filming them in these two, two little places. In terms of uh, irony, there's also an aspect I really like about this uh, film, which is made for the web, which is supposed to be viewed on the web, on a computer. And then you're going to encounter people that live in front of a computer screen. So in a way, you'll meet people that are just on the other side of the screen. This is a very, obviously, contemporary situation, both in terms of the reality it depicts and the viewing experience one can have.